How's it going everybody? About a month ago I made a full base blocks workout video and in that video I debuted the base bench, the new equipment from base blocks for lower body calisthenics. And I'm actually sitting on the base bench right now because that's what this video is going to be all about. I've received a lot of questions in the comments about it so I figured it's about time I do my official base bench review. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Minus the Gym. And for those of you new to my channel, my name's Ryan. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition specialist through ACE, the American Council on Exercise. And I'm here with Minus the Gym to help you get fit and truly healthy at home without relying on a gym. Okay, I'm gonna break down this video into three sections, kind of like I did in my old tutorial videos. All right, first we're gonna look at the assembly for the base bench. Then we're going to look at the durability and storage, and then I'm going to talk about the usability, meaning what would you use it for, what exercises can you do, and I'll demonstrate some of them for you as well. But really quick, before I go any further, I just have to mention that I do have a 10% off discount code. So if at any point in this video you think like, wow, this seems like a great product for me, I want to add it to my home gym, you can get 10% off if you use minus 10 at their website, baseblocks.fit. So first, the assembly. Now normally when I'd make a review video like this, I would record myself assembling, like unboxing and assembling the whole product. But I didn't do that with the base bench because I actually assembled it with my daughter, who was about a month old at the time, hanging on my chest in a baby carrier. So that just goes to show you how this is very easy to assemble. If I can assemble it with a baby hanging on me, then it can't be that hard. But to give you an idea of how you assemble this, it comes with four main parts. That's how I think of it. There's the base, which is the long part that lays on the floor, and it has padding for cushioning. Then you have the bench, which is the part that you would sit on if you're like, you know, practicing squats, or maybe you're going to elevate your feet on it, or something like that. And then you have two columns that you need to attach to the base and the bench. The base bench comes with eight nuts and bolts that you use to attach the columns to the base and the bench, and it also comes with an Allen wrench. So you don't need to provide any of your own tools, and it doesn't take long. It's just eight bolts that you got to put in. And once those columns are attached to the base and the bench, then it's just a matter of putting them together and locking it, and then you're ready to use it. But before you start your workout, you should know that there's also four pins that it comes with, and these pins go into the sides of the base. And the purpose of these pins is that the base bench also comes with a couple resistance bands, and you can use the bands for different exercises that you do. So that's all there is to it really, is eight nuts and bolts, you put the pins in, and then you're good to go. But like I said, I had a baby hanging on me, and I was able to do it, so it can't be that hard. Okay, now, what about the durability and storage? Because I know that's really important. A lot of people who are working out with body weight and working out at home, they don't have a lot of space. I'm lucky to have an entire basement that's basically mine. My wife and my kids, I mean, my kids play down there, but my wife doesn't really go down there very much. So I have an entire section of my basement for fitness, but not many people have that, especially people living in condos and apartments and smaller spaces. So how does the base bench store? Well, I was a little disappointed to find out that the base doesn't fold up. I thought it would fold for easy storage, but that's not the case. It is one solid piece. So keep that in mind. I'll provide measurements on the screen as well as I show this, but it does not fold up. Now, the bench does easily detach from the base, which is good for storage. However, keep in mind you have the base is about four feet long, give or take, and you don't want to have to take off the columns that you put on with the nuts and bolts when you assembled it. So when the column is on there, you're looking at an additional eight inches of height. So if you were planning on storing the base under your bed, I mean, that might be a possibility to store it underneath some kind of furniture, but there has to be an eight inch clearing in order for it to fit. In terms of durability, like all of their products, the base bench feels really high quality, right? The metal is highly durable. I can tell just by the way it feels. I felt the same way with the base bar. And the cushions on the bench and the soft part of the base are some sort of pleather or something. I think it's like fake leather, but it feels very, I mean, even if you scratch it, you're not going to tear it. So it's high quality stuff. And now for the usability. Now, clearly the base bench is designed for lower body strength training. That's its whole purpose. And there's tons of exercises you can do with it. And like I mentioned, you can even add bands. So 
So you can use resistance bands and add weight or resistance to some of the exercises. So here are some examples. First, there's hip thrusts. And to do hip thrusts, you rest your upper back and shoulders on the bench with the bench elevated as high as you can have it. And then slowly lower the hips down till they touch the bench and then raise them back up. This primarily works the glutes, but you're gonna be using stabilizers throughout your legs and core. So it's a great exercise, but definitely the highlight of hip thrusts is glutes. Of course, you can make this exercise unilateral, meaning raising one leg. So you're just using one side when you do the hip thrusts and that will make it harder. So that's a good variation, but also you can add bands. Using the pins that we talked about on the sides of the bench, you can use a resistance band to add more resistance to your hip thrusts. Next, you can do straight bridges with your feet elevated. So if you're short enough, you can lay on the base, elevating your feet onto the bench and doing a straight bridge. Or if you're like me where you're a little too tall, what I've had to do is put my yoga mat behind the base bench and then elevate my feet that way. So I'm laying on my yoga mat, I have my feet up on the bench, but I'm not actually using the base. And from there, I could do my straight bridges. And of course, the straight bridges can also be done single leg, so you're doing them unilaterally. And of course, the height adjustable bench on the base bench is also great for pistol squat progressions. So you would start working on your pistol negatives and also pistols where you just go down to a sitting position and then stand back up. And you would start with the bench at its highest setting and then gradually as you build strength and mobility, you lower the bench notch by notch. Next is Nordic curls. And I'm gonna be honest, I think Nordic curls are the main reason why I wanted a base bench. I tried doing Nordic curls with my couch and other heavy furniture in my house and none of it was heavy enough. I was moving the furniture around with my feet. So what's nice about the base bench is that it's really designed for this. You can tuck your feet underneath the bench, all right? Make sure that your heels are up nice and tight against the bottom of the bench, and then you can work on your Nordic curls. Now these are a lot harder than they look, trust me. I saw people doing Nordic curls online and I thought, oh, I used to do leg curls at the gym. I would, you know, on the machines, I would leg curl all kinds of heavy weight. So I thought it'd be easy, but no, this, I'm still working on my negatives and I've had this base bench for about a month and a half now. So trust me, this is, you're not messing around when you're working on Nordic curls. Moving on, there's also band deadlifts. You can do these by using the provided resistance bands that come with the base bench, putting them on the pins on the sides of the base, and then doing deadlifts with the bands as resistance. Deadlifts are a great exercise, often overlooked by people doing bodyweight training because it requires weight. But it's a perfect bend and lift movement for putting on strength and mass. I really recommend you find ways to do deadlifts if you're serious about your fitness. And using bands is a great way to do it. Split squats are another great exercise that the base bench is designed for. You stand with one foot on the base, put your other foot elevated on the bench behind you, and then perform squats. Split squats are great not just for the glutes, quads, and hamstrings, working your entire thigh and butt, but also because you have to maintain balance with one leg behind you, it's also great for your hip stabilizers. So you're engaging a lot of your core while you do these as well. Reverse hyperextensions are another exercise you can do with the base bench. And to do these, you just wanna elevate the bench as high as it'll go, lay on it so your hips are supported, but your lower body and butt are sort of hanging off a little bit. And then what you wanna do is just bend at the knees and then raise that lower body up so it's parallel to the floor. Reverse hypers are great for strengthening the lower back. So anybody with a weakened and lengthened lower back from doing lots of sitting and hunching, you'll wanna do these because you may find you experience lower back pain when working on certain moves in calisthenics. And of course, the base bench is good for a lot more than just lower body exercises. Here's just a few examples. You can perform push-ups using the base bench by using the bench to elevate either your hands in incline push-ups or your feet in decline push-ups. And of course, don't forget when you're laying on the base, you have enough weight, it's your own body weight of course, so that you can put your hands up on the bottom of the bench and perform dragon flags. So if you don't have a good place in your home to work on dragon flags right now, like a good anchor, you know, like a column or something, something really sturdy in your house, well, the base bench is perfect for it. So overall, I would say that the assembly on the base bench is a little more than 
previous base blocks products that I've purchased, but it's still not that much. It only took me about maybe 10 or 12 minutes to put together. So it's not that bad. It's highly durable, not so easy to store. Okay, it doesn't fold up or anything, so keep that in mind if you're tight on space. But the usability is great. This is honestly, I think, the only lower body calisthenics equipment that I've seen. You know, calisthenics and lower body typically don't go hand in hand, but this is definitely perfectly designed for that. And for any women watching this, I've had a lot of uh, female viewers asking what I would recommend for working the hips, you know, isolating the hips and strengthening the lower body. This is a, a dream machine for that. I mean, it comes with everything you could possibly need to build up the hips is right here in the base bench. All right, for any of you who are uncertain about the base bench and whether or not it's a good thing for you to purchase for your home gym, hopefully I answered your questions. If I didn't, please leave a comment down below. I will try to reply or I'll add it to a Q&A video in the future. All right, don't forget minus 10 at checkout to get 10% off if you do decide to buy it. You may as well get 10% off. Drop a like if this video helps you. Subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you in the next video. See you then.